Um, I wanted to do a little follow-up on the uh, alternative installing video that I did of Reaper, the, the portable install thing. Um, what did I call it? The uh, power tip for installing Reaper. Um, there was a few questions come up about it that I thought might be quite cool to answer and one in particular was about um, if it was possible just to move all the folders instead of uninstalling your current Reaper setup you could maybe just group all the folders together and, and do it that way. No, you can't. I mean, unfortunately, the, when you install Reaper, that tells the, the application where all the, to find all the folders, and if you start changing that, you'll run into problems. But don't despair. You don't have to lose all your setup and all the rest of that. I'm going to show you a way to do it, to save your configuration, and then you can load that configuration into your new installation of Reaper, make sure everything's working, and then install your old version of Reaper. So, I mean, I'm probably teaching people to suck eggs here, but if we go into Options and Preferences, uh, we want to go to General, and we want to export our configuration, okay? So we click export configuration, it will come up with everything that's going to be there, I've got quite a lot in here, um, and we click save, and I'm going to not going to save it on that in there because we might get rid of this eventually, so what I'm going to do is go to where I have installed the new version of Reaper here, and I'm just going to save it onto this um, general outside folder, so it's here, and let's just call it our latest Okay, and save. And that's going to run through, save all of my toolbars, all of my um, themes, everything. Set, save that onto there. And if I drag up the folder, here we find it here. Now mine, <laughs> these vary in size. Uh, mine's 16 meg. But it saves all the themes and everything that I've got. And I've got quite a few themes in my themes folder. I've tried to thin it out a bit, but I'm a bit of a collector. Um, so yours, yours will vary in size depending on how much stuff you've got going on in your, your config. Okay, So that's done. We can just come out of here. We can shut this Reaper down. I haven't yet um, put up a desktop icon. So but we can just go into the folder where I installed it. And we can start Reaper up from here. So now we have Reaper up and running. Uh, as you can see, this is a very blank version compared to my usual one. So we can again go into Options, Preferences, and let's go up to General, and then we can Import Configuration. So we have to go to that uh, same place where we had it, and here it is, our latest configuration. We well, just open that up. That's okay. And we import. So now we we'll restart Reaper, we'll restart again. And it's down here for some reason. This is this, as I don't, I've not put my license in here because I'm not going to use this. So. Uh, and there you are. You can see now we are up and running exactly as I was before with everything looking exactly the same. All my toolbars in place, all my actions, everything that I had before and that the old version is now here. So what we can do now is just, if you've got a, a, an ordinary installed version, just uninstall it now. And you can just use now your newly installed Reaper that's all in one folder without any problem. The same thing applies if you're going to um, do any updates. This was a question that was asked. Just update. As long as it goes to the same folder where you've installed this version of Reaper, you're golden. It will just install everything as we did with the portable install and all the rest of it. No problems. So it just carry on as normal and then you just carry on every time you update. It will go to the same folder and it will just keep installing it. I've had it like this for years without any problems. Makes life so much easier. 
I can actually just move the folder if I want to. For example, people have problems um, in the C drive having access to, to folders in your, on Windows 10 and 8 and 10. I've got mine in the Documents folder instead, so I just moved it out of the, the, uh, off the C, uh, C drive and put it into Documents. You can put it onto your D drive where you've got your VSD plugins. You can put it where you want, but all you've got to do is go to that folder and move it. Put it where you want. That's part of the, the really good, cool thing about having it all in this one folder. You can put it where you want and it will still work because everything is in that folder all condensed there. I just wanted to give a, a little bit of a shout out. And I'm going to just drop this in on the video because I forgot to say it when I was talking earlier. But this is to uh, The Great Abstracto on YouTube. He uh, put a little message on the on the previous video about who the guy was that I picked this tip up from. Um, his guy, his name on YouTube is Tushka. We're not too sure what his name in the Reaper forums was because it was in the forums I read this. I didn't see the video, but he's put a link to the video in the messages of the previous video. So I'll put a link in the description of this video below so that you can have a look at the original one. Okay, cheers. So I hope that's helped and I hope that's maybe cleared up a couple of worries that people had and uh, shows you how to set up configurations and transfer it between um, applications. I mean, if you could do the same thing, you could save your configuration onto a USB stick. If you're going over to a friend's house to work, take it with you, load up your config, put it back to his configuration when you're finished and you can, two of you can work as you like to work. So cool. Hope that helps, hope that puts you a bit of peace of mind if you want to go ahead and do this kind of install that you can get rid of the old one without and keep all your original settings. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one, cheers folks, bye now.